What is up, Houdet Nation? Ross Jackson here. The Saints 2020 schedule has officially been released, and these are the Canal Street Chronicles. So let's go ahead and get the preseason out of the way because ain't nobody here to talk about the preseason. The Saints will be on the road to open up the preseason for both of their uh, the first two games of the four-game stretch up against the Los Angeles Rams first, and then they travel to Pittsburgh to take on the Steelers. Then they're back at home against the Houston Texans and then hosting again another popular preseason opponent in the Miami Dolphins. The Saints have faced off against the Chargers, Texans, and Dolphins in the preseason pretty often, so these are not you know shocks at all. But it is nice to see them go on the road first and then come back home to wrap everything up before the home opener of the regular season, which is going to be, drum roll, we all know, it's going to be against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Saints hosting Tom Brady and the Bucs up at the beginning of the season to really start off and kick off this entire narrative that's going to go over the entire season about Drew Brees versus Tom Brady playing against one another twice a year right now in the NFC South, battling it out for the division, potentially battling out for the conference as well. All the storylines are going to be mad crazy and they're going to kick off right at the beginning of the year as the league kicks off as well. That's a 325 central time kickoff. So that's a kickoff that does really align with the idea of potentially being America's game of the week and therefore a national game in its own right. Not a primetime game, but a national game. But if you're hungry for primetime games for the Saints, don't worry because they come pretty quickly at the top of this schedule. Week two, the Saints will head off to Las Vegas to take on the Raiders. They will be the inaugural visiting team, the first ever visiting team at Allegiant Stadium, the new home of the new end improved truly uh las vegas raiders gonna be a lot of fun to watch that matchup go down and then they're back with another sunday night game this time that one's gonna be that uh, raiders game is gonna be a monday night game this one sunday night the saints come back to new orleans to host the green bay packers you got breeze Brady to open the season two weeks later you got breeze versus rogers in prime time so that's two prime time games at the beginning of this season in the first three games, but they're not done there. Of course, the very next week, they're gonna travel, they're gonna head over and continue their NFC North competition to take on the Detroit Lions. Should be a winnable game, but we know how it is in the history franchise. Sometimes you see a lot of losses that shouldn't be losses. So we'll see what happens with the Detroit Lions. And then the Saints come back for another primetime game as they host the Los Angeles Chargers in New Orleans. Will it be Tyrod Taylor? Much like it was a couple years ago. Remember the Saints and the Cleveland Browns took on each other with Tyrod Taylor as a starting quarterback after the Browns had drafted Baker Mayfield. Now they take on the Chargers who are expected to start Tyrod Taylor at the beginning of the season, but Justin Herbert sitting there waiting in the wings. Will Herbert be the starter by week five or will the Saints take on Tyrod Taylor? Last time that happened, they took on Tyrod Taylor and then the next week on Monday Night Football, Baker Mayfield made his premiere. So maybe the Saints end up being the end of Tyrod Taylor's starting time for the Chargers as well. Then week six, the Saints get a bye. Nice to get the bye out of the way a little bit earlier in the season, I say for this year. Gives them an opportunity to have one less game interrupted when it comes to fans being in the stands. If they're not having fans in the stands early on in the season, and let's say week six otherwise was another home game, would have been a little detrimental for the team that's already going to have a little bit of a weird feeling when it comes to home field advantage or other dome field advantage for the Saints. But they pick up after the bye week with another divisional game against the Carolina Panthers. They welcome in Teddy Bridgewater back to the dome, but this time going to do everything that they can to beat him. Then they travel to Chicago to take on the Bears as is tradition. November 1st this time, they go. They travel to Chicago to take on Chicago in Chicago. I feel like the, the Saints never host Chicago for some reason. Always have to go to them. And so they're going to travel there at the top of the month of November. And then another primetime game for the Saints, this time on NBC. The Saints taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers for Brady versus Breeze Part 2. And then they get two games at home, but they're two big games. You got the San Francisco 49ers at home. Remember what happened last year? 48-46 loss for the Saints, but a hell of a shootout in that game and probably the best game of the 2019 season. So you're going to see the Saints bring back the, or welcome back rather, the San Francisco 49ers with their 
new and rebuild offense. They now have some new pieces on their offensive line. They have a new wide receiver in place of Emmanuel Sanders. Where did Emmanuel Sanders end up going again? Oh, that's right. He came to New Orleans. So that's going to be a lot of fun to watch too. A little bit of Emmanuel Sanders revenge tour, perhaps. Go ahead and take on his former team where he balled out really against the Saints last year, including throwing a touchdown to Raheem Mostert. So the Saints will do everything that they have to do to make sure that Debo Samuel or some other wide receiver doesn't end up doing that to them again, or for that matter, Jimmy Garoppolo for that case. Uh, then they stay at home. They welcome in the Atlanta Falcons for a big rivalry game. This time, not on Thanksgiving. It's a Sunday before Thanksgiving. So save your roasted falcon so that you can have some of those leftovers on Thanksgiving. But don't worry. You might be able to stretch the leftovers from Thanksgiving over for the second matchup against the Falcons because that's going to be week 13, which straddles the game that the Saints are going to be traveling to Denver. They're going to travel to take them on at Mile High Stadium or Denver Stadium at Mile High, uh, which is going to be a lot of fun. That's a really good revamped AFC West team, just like the Raiders are. Are they clicking immediately early enough in the season or really, I guess, late enough in the season that they feel comfortable? We'll see. That one, I feel like, has a lot of potential to be a bit of an upset game there because Denver is a very, very good team or should be, has, let me say on paper, is a very, very good team going into 2020. So that one will be a lot of fun to watch. Then they'll travel to Atlanta to take on the Falcons for the second time in three weeks. That's the game I was talking about. Maybe save your leftovers a little bit for that game. And then they cap off a three-game road trip by going to Philadelphia to take on the Eagles. Will Carson Wentz be the starter there? Will Jalen Hurts be the starter because Carson Wentz is hurt? We'll see what happens there. Should be a lot of fun with that game. And then after the big three-game road trip, the Saints come back to New Orleans to take on the Kansas City Chiefs, probably the most highly anticipated game right now outside of the matchups between Brady and Breeze for this team. It's going to be that game as they host the uh, reigning Super Bowl champs in uh, Kansas City. So Patrick Mahomes comes to town, the golden boy of the NFL right now, taking on uh, the elder statesman that is Drew Brees. So that one is definitely going to be extremely entertaining and should be a big time shootout and should have fans by then, fingers crossed, as we're now deep into December 20th. And then we come back just five days later, December 25th, the Saints back at home hosting the Minnesota Vikings on Christmas Day, which is a Friday. And I know that it feels weird. It feels like a short week. But remember, usually the Saints are playing on a Thursday game after playing against uh, a team on Sunday, which is usually a four-day turnaround. Now, at least they have a five-day turnaround. So there's some silver lining in that. But these are two big teams to take on at that point in the season. And this is late in the season. This is weeks 15 and 16. So a lot of playoff implications at this point in the season here. And then the Saints, talk about tradition, closing out the season week 17 against the Carolina Panthers, this time traveling to Carolina to take on Teddy Bridgewater and Matt Rule and Joe Brady and all those guys as well with a game that could actually mean something as the number one seed in each conference is the only team that ends up getting a bye week. So if the Saints are still in contention at that point for potential number one seed, that 17th game could mean something. If not, if they're not there, then as long as they're in the playoffs, they'll probably take some time to rest Drew Brees. And if that's the case, we get the very entertaining matchup of either Taysom Hill versus Teddy Bridgewater, or perhaps more intriguing, Jameis Winston versus Teddy Bridgewater. So it's shaping up to be a very fun 2020 season. Now we just sit back and wait for camp to get rolling in July. Remember the Saints not doing any type of off-season activities, anything like that. They're just showing up for camp in July, ready to go and ready to get rolling. So we'll wait around, get ready for that. But it was nice to get some new football news rolling today with the Saints 2020 schedule, which is absolutely a doozy. Make sure you keep up with everything we've got going on over at canalstreetchronicles.com as we begin to break down that schedule. Initial reactions are already out. Everything you need to know about the schedule already out. So go ahead and check that out and keep up as we continue to update heading into the 2020 season.